guys, so today I'm showing you how I get this atrocious makeup look. Like, my get ready with me's are like fails just because I'm bad at makeup, but this is the most epic fail of all. I started doing just normal makeup and it went bad, and then I did a purple smoky eye, that was awful. Then I attempted a like cut crease, and that was when I had to draw the line and stop messing with the eyeshadow. <laughs> so, if you guys want to just see me chatting along with you guys, getting ready and like updating you on my life, then carry on watching. Okay, I'm just gonna put some earrings in quickly because don't feel like me without my earrings. <laughs> if I can even find the hole. <laughs> One's in. This video can now commence. So I have this whole thing of makeup and I'm gonna start doing my makeup today just because I look really bad and I've woken up late the past few days and not done makeup and I feel like people need to remember that I'm not some disgusting human being. Okay, so there's a plane! <laughs> <coughs> of course. Getting started, I have this Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation that I bought. As you can see, it's security protected. Um, I bought this the other day. I can't get this off. <laughs> I can't undo it. Are you joking? This is actually so annoying now. <laughs> Nearly there. Whoa! I finally got into this stupid foundation. So I am going to apply this on I'm, I don't know I have like really bad makeup brushes at the moment like they're just so dirty So I'm gonna put this on some like angled brush because it's the only one that's like remotely clean Oh if there's any. So I thought I'd do like a little update whilst I get ready. Life update because I feel like I haven't done like a chatty video for ages. Oh update. So I'm in college currently. I'm doing photography, sociology and media studies in case you guys like I don't know forgot or like care about me. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice to have like a change of scenery. I've met some like really lovely friends. So yeah, I'm really happy at the moment. Oh, something super, super exciting with like YouTube is I've actually signed to um, Gleam Futures, which is literally so exciting because genuinely, oh, for anyone that doesn't know, that's like a management company. Well, it's not like big as and they have loads of people. It's just like, it's quite exciting if you know, get managed by them. I look so pale, I hate this, oh well. Yeah. Like, like literally since I started doing YouTube when I had awful videos, not that this one's any better than that, I literally have wanted to be signed with Gleam my whole life, so like since I came out of the womb I was like, if I'm not signed to Gleam mum, honestly, <laughs> that was so funny. This foundation's actually kind of matching me, oh my god, is this what it feels like to have a matching foundation? But yeah, I'm so happy. Wow, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this foundation though. My misguided order was supposed to come like next day delivery it said, and then the next day and it did not come and I was so annoyed and it's kind of like I've realized I've been buying loads of clothes recently so it's kind of like my last clothing buy. I feel like through this get ready with me I've just changed conversation like a hundred times and it's not even a conversation it's me talking to myself so uh, there's a hair on my concealer okay I'm gonna cover up oh dear that concealer is way too dark I have these pesky little spots and they're not that little. Right, what was I talking about? I always do this, I can't remember. I'm gonna put on some number seven powder underneath my eyes because the French Inns here recommend it and they are my saviors. And then my lovely, one of my great friends, Lily, um, bought a new one so she just gave me her one that had like, like quite a lot left so that I could try it, which was really generous. Like who does that? Like generous people. We're gonna be filming a collaborooney. Um, how have you guys been though? Oh my gosh, I hit 100k! Thank you guys so much for that. I literally, I'm so like over the moon. I can't believe it. Like that has been my lifetime goal. And I can't believe it. Like, like I went to this concert the other day. What well, wasn't, I don't know what it was. It was called Kiss House Party. Oh wait, I can't talk and do my eyebrows. And basically there were loads of people and it just made me think like there are so many people and like less than the people that had subscribed to me. It was so weird. I was just like, what? This powder has like made me orange. Like where I've put it. I think it's like oxidized. I don't know. My skin is really playing up recently or has been playing up. I do not look like me right now with the hair. This is going to be a feel get ready with me because I just look bad right now Ugh, I hate my eyebrows in there so much they look horrible I'm over it like this is one of those things like whenever you try and film uh, of course your makeup goes badly like this looks gross Okay, so one of my favourite YouTubers, Threads Obsessed, she wears like, no, purple eyeshadow and I think it looks incredible and I got this like Kiko colourful eyeshadow palette. 
um, from Shout Hangout and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna use it that much and I realized there's like a lot of colors that I've actually wanted to experiment with for eyeshadow. So today I'm gonna go for the purple, but I definitely have wanted to do yellow eyeshadow for a long time. Sounds weird, but like, I don't know, some people can just pull it off and, okay, I don't know how to do eyeshadow, so this is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna use this big color brush, <laughs> this big color. I'm worried that I'm gonna look like I've got kicked in the eye. Okay, so this kind of matches my hair right now. I kind of love it. Cringe. Right, this purple is just not pigmented enough though. I feel like I have more purple eyeshadows. That is purple. That is a very purple purple. That is a bit pink, but still. Okay, I have these three NYX shadows. I have Pink Lady, which is pink. Arrogance, which is like dark purple. And this is the best one. This is ultraviolet and it's bright purple purple. Yeah, baby. Wow. Ah. Definitely the wrong brush for this, I've just realised. Should use more of a flat brush rather than a blending brush. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna try fix this because I really want this to look good. It's just not blending. Why is it not blending nicely? You know what? I'm gonna make it a cut crease. <laughs> As if a cut crease would be any better than this mess. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm a strong, independent woman that just wants to try a cut crease. So it's just gonna work. I can feel it. Four cut. Oh. Smile on. Don't mind me. Okay, so I've done a little semicircle of concealer. Not gonna lie, I don't really watch like loads of makeup tutorials unless it's like someone funny. Like I just don't like watch them to learn. So this is a mess. But like Loki wanted to wear this to college, so like I'm Loki kind of annoyed about this. Oh, it looks so bad. Okay, okay, I'm really annoyed. <laughs> I low-key give up. Like, I give up. Do I even put on mascara at this point? I'm just gonna admit that this is a bad day. Like, I look bad. I can't help it. I'm just gonna leave the eyes completely because what is that? Also, why is there building going on next door? Do you mind? I'm filming a video. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna use the NYX Born To Glow Highlighting Palette. I think I'm gonna use a mix of this golden and this like white one. These are so pretty. Again, I got these in my peer box actually and I love them, they're so pretty. Like, oh, I actually do have a PO box, by the way, so I will leave it in the description box below. It feels so weird to say I have a PO box, like, as if anyone would want to send, um, like, any brands would want to send anything, like, to someone that clearly can't do makeup. To be fair, I can do makeup, like, almost, almost, almost average when I'm not filming. It's when I'm filming, I don't know what happens. Oh my gosh, in this mirror, it looks even worse. <gasps> I'm not even gonna bother putting on mascara because like low-key, like what, what is this? I think I'm literally just gonna put on this. It's from Revlon. It is in the shade HD Sand 700 and it's so pretty. It's like literally what I have been looking for. I just want like a glossy nude, like balmy lipstick and this is exactly that. I mean, it doesn't go with the look, but like does any of this look go together? No. Do I care? No. <laughs> so, I mean, this is it for the makeup I have given up <coughs> it looks like costume makeup I feel like I've kind of given up in this video so if you guys like I don't know if I manage to recreate this because Loki gonna take all this makeup off and start again if I manage to do this well I am a hundred percent filming in this makeup and I'm proving you guys pro proving to you guys that I can do this <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to give a huge thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to go and check out my previous video. Um, it was a lookbook and I worked super, super hard on it and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I will see you super soon with a new video, guys. Bye, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Bye. That's a vibe. She want a vibe. Oh my God, it's so bad. <laughs>